After years of research and implant trials, FSIS is implementing a cloth sampling method for beef manufacturing trim and bench trim. Today, we're going to collect a beef manufacturing trimming sample utilizing the cloth sample collection method from a combo bin and in boxes. This same method will be used to collect bench trim samples. When you receive the sampling box, you're to verify that it contains all the supplies necessary to collect the sample. The box will include the following sampling supplies. A Ziploc type bag that will be used to package the cloth, an individually packed cloth, and a tube of sterile NBPW. There should be one pair of non-sterile gloves, a set of FSIS sample seals, There will be three overnight courier billable stamps, one per lab, Eastern, Western, and Midwest. One pair of arm length gloves. You should have a plastic sleeve that will be used to protect the sample form. There will be one or two gel packs, cardboard separators, and a foam plug. The color and packaging of some of the supplies you receive may vary slightly from what is shown in this video. You're also to have an alcohol-based spray, not gel, sanitizer available. The sanitizer is not included in the sampling supply box, but is available from FSIS Material Management Supply Center. So this will need to be ordered separately in preparation for sampling tasks. When you receive a new box of supplies, first verify that all the necessary supplies are included and available. Then place the NBPW in a secure refrigerator where it will remain under FSIS control. At least 24 hours before sample collection, place the gel coolant pack or packs into the freezer to ensure that they are frozen solid. On sampling day, pre-chill the sampling container by placing the absorbent pad in the shipping container to line the bottom then place the gel packs on top of the absorbent pads. One or two gel packs may be provided in the sampling box depending on the time of year. Regardless of the number of combo bins, boxes, or containers in the lot, you'll only use one cloth during sampling. Only one combo bin or up to five boxes or containers will be sampled with the cloth. We'll discuss sampling of the lot in just a little bit. However, all the product in the sample lot will need to be held by the establishment pending test results. Carry your sampling supplies to the sampling area, including alcohol-based sanitizer spray ordered from the FSIS Material Management Supply Center. Wash your hands and arms to the mid-forearm. Then prepare your sample supplies by removing the sleeves and gloves from their packaging. You will also remove the clear perforated plastic shrink wrap from the tube of NBPW and set the NBPW aside for use later. The product selected for sampling may be exposed and ready for sampling by the establishment as it is here today. But if you need to expose the product, use caution to avoid touching non-food contact surfaces. At this point, find the bag that contains the cloth in your sampling supplies. Without touching the cloth, tear open the bag and widen the mouth of the bag using the pull tabs. Invert the bag to allow the dry cloth to drop onto the surface of the product. Remember, do not touch the cloth with your bare hands. Place the empty plastic sample bag in an upright position on a clean, sanitary surface such as a sample caddy or tote or table within suitable distance of the sampling area. Keeping the bag upright will make it easier to place the cloth back in the bag once the sampling procedure is complete. Put on the arm sleeves and gloves that were provided in the sampling kit. Then use the alcohol-based spray sanitizer to sanitize your gloved hands and plastic sleeves simultaneously. After your gloved hands and forearm sleeves are sanitized, do not touch anything except for the cloth. Before touching the cloth and beginning the sampling procedure, be sure your gloves and forearm sleeves have dried. This next section demonstrates sampling product in a combo bin. 
Most of the instructions also apply to product in boxes, totes, or other containers. Further instructions on sampling boxes, totes, and other containers will be covered later in this video. Visually select a point on the combo to begin and end the sampling procedure. You are to move around the combo in a uniform manner, vigorously massaging the entire surface of the combo using a firm downward scrubbing motion. Once you have determined your starting point, unfold the cloth on the product and tightly grasp the cloth with both hands. While using both hands, apply downward pressure to vigorously massage and scrub the surface of the product with the unfolded cloth. The cloth is made of durable material and is unlikely to tear. Make sure to reach into the spaces and crevices between meat pieces to sample as much of the product's surface area as possible. You may have to regrip the cloth as you perform the sampling to ensure enough pressure is being used. It's important to massage vigorously so that any bacteria, if present, will be transferred to the surface of the cloth. Non-vigorous massage or simply gliding the cloth across the surface of the meat in a shoe shine fashion may not successfully transfer bacteria to the cloth. Continue moving around the combo bin as you vigorously massage the meat. Once you have sampled approximately one half of the combo, flip the cloth over and then sample the other half of the combo. If you're sampling containers other than a combo, flip the cloth over approximately halfway through the number of containers being sampled. Each half of the combo is to be sampled for approximately 45 to 60 seconds. The total sampling time per lot will be around one and a half to two minutes. Next, we'll demonstrate sampling of beef trim in boxes. You are to use this procedure if the product is packaged in boxes, totes, or any other container other than combo bins. Randomly select the lot of boxes or containers to be sampled. If the establishment's lot is composed of product in boxes, totes, tubs, or other similar containers, you are to use one cloth for up to five boxes or containers. For example, if an establishment defines its lot as four boxes, you're to sample all four boxes using one cloth for a total of one cloth collected and shipped to the lab. If an establishment's lot is greater than five containers, you're to randomly select five containers and sample all five boxes using one cloth. In today's lot, the lot was four boxes, so we'll sample four boxes. Next, you'll ask the establishment to move the boxes to the sampling location and prepare them to be sampled. Then, you are to follow the hand-washing, gloving, and sanitizing process as described earlier in the video for combo bin sampling. You are to drop the cloth into one box after washing your hands and grab the cloth only after gloving to begin sampling. Preparing to sample boxes is the same as sampling a combo bin. As a tip, you'll need to avoid touching the outer surface of the box with the cloth. To do this, you can tightly gather the side of the cloth you are not sampling with in one hand, and then when moving to the next box, release the gathered side not being used for sampling, and tightly gather the side that was previously used. This allows you more control of the cloth. You are to use the same vigorous sampling motion as used with combo bins. Make sure to contact as much product in the box as possible, and then move to the next box, repeating the sampling procedure until all of the selected boxes have been sampled. You are to sample for a total of one and a half to two minutes per lot, so divide your time equally per box. Flip the cloth over when you're approximately halfway through the sampling process. Whether you sampled a combo or boxes, after sampling, the cloth should be damp, should have a darkened appearance, and should have picked up liquid and bits of meat pieces. Once folded, Return the cloth to the original clear plastic sample bag, paying special attention to not allow the cloth to touch the outside surface of the plastic sample bag. Remove your gloves and sleeves and dispose of them in the trash. Next, carefully open the NBPW tube and aseptically pour all of the pre-chilled NBPW into the open bag. Make sure that the tube does not touch the inside of the bag or go into the bag. Only the liquid buffer should touch the inside of the bag. Now, use gentle pressure on the outside of the plastic bag to push the cloth down into the NBPW and remove excess air from the bag. 
Roll or fold the top of the bag down at least three times and then fold in the wire tabs to secure the bag and prevent leakage. Discard the empty NBPW tube in the trash. You are now ready to label the sample. Place one small barcoded label on the sample bag containing the cloth. Then place the sample bag containing the cloth into the zipper lock bag and close it. You are to include a medium sized barcoded seal on the zipper lock bag as described in FSIS Directive 7355.1. Place the labeled and completed sampling form in the plastic sample form sleeve. For more information on using the barcoded labels, please see FSIS Directive 7355.1, Use of Sample Seals for Program Samples and Other Applications. Now we need to pack the shipping container as soon as possible after sample collection. Your shipping container should already be pre-chilled with an absorbent pad and one or two pre-frozen gel packs at the bottom of the container. In this video, two gel frozen packs will be used. Place a cardboard separator on top of the pre-frozen gel pack. Place the double bagged cloth sample inside the insulated sample shipping box on top of the cardboard separator. Put a second cardboard separator on top of the sample before adding the second pre-frozen gel pack. Finally, add the foam plug to the box. Add the completed sample form contained in the sleeve provided on top of the foam plug. Proper use of the packing materials provided for sample collection will help ensure that an appropriate temperature is maintained during shipping. As a reminder, the lab will discard the sample if it's not cold enough, if there is no NPBW, or if the buffer leaked during shipping. So, please take care to keep the shipping containers away from heat sources and to properly fold the sample collection bag after adding the buffer. Ship the sample via overnight courier. This completes our cloth sampling of raw beef manufacturing trimmings or bench trim products from a combo bin or boxes. If you have additional questions, please discuss them with your supervisor or submit questions through Ask FSIS.